Hey guys! Alright, we're here today to check out a Patronal request from this Patronal right here. Ask us to check out a band that's getting a lot of traction. I'm hearing the name of this band on the comment section of our videos quite a bit. And the name of the band is First Fragment. The name of this video song is Pantheon. 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 Sorry, bad pronunciation there. So, time for us to find out what everybody else has been talking about. I I'm telling you. You, you cannot go into a video without seeing the name of this band popping up and people saying, hey, when you guys are going to check out this band? So, um, the time is now. Yeah. All right. You ready? Uh, I want to ask, what do you think, uh, what genre do you think? Oh, I didn't be? check. I didn't, I didn't. That's, what I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, what do I'm you think? thinking first fragment. Metalcore. I'm, technical death metal. Oh, it could be. I, I don't know. If I hear that people are raving about a band. Oh, you don't think technical death metal? No, I, I think it. <laughs> I think everyone herds together for the metalcore. All right, so I'm going outside the box then. I'm going to go with technical death okay. metal. All right, so let's see what this is all about.
These guys are the super click of technical death metal. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> wow. How the fuck did you know that, man? Like... I don't know, first fragment sounded like... It was either going to be metalcore or technical death metal. So you the, the, name, the name kind of... I mean, that's kind of what the name inspired me with. You know what I mean? Like, if I heard Beyond Creation, it's either technical death metal or metalcore. Or metalcore, yeah. Or, or something proggy. Or something proggy. So, like, it, there's not much room for you to wiggle. You went with metalcore, so I'm like, fuck it. It's going to be a 50-50 here, so I'm going to go with technical death metal. Oh, you were right. So... But I feel like this is definitely in your wheelhouse, oh, so you, 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 you gotta go first. Definitely, like, definitely. Where do you wanna your... start? <laughs> oh, fuck. <sighs> oh. Outstanding. Outstanding, man. But I fucking love the fretless bass. I think that's... That's a gimme. I mean, I, I love it. I love the sound of fretless bass. Doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't matter how it's coming across. Fuck, it doesn't even have to be in a metal song. Just someone playing it in, like, a cafe. I'd fucking... I, I, I'd... I'd at Starbucks? <laughs> Imagine you're like at a, a sit-down cafe, you sit down, you're drinking your coffee, and some guy's on stage and he's just going at it. Playing like, Seasons in the Abyss? I feel like the the fretless bass is like is like a it's like a saxophone. Like it's something you can just go on stage All right. by yourself and do a piece with and everyone will love it. It's very smooth, it's very nice to uh, uh, eloquent. It's very rich. It's yeah, very, yeah, it's, it's very... like it's like a really good cheesecake, you know? It, it... Wow, fuck cheese you went with cheesecake. I thought you were gonna say a nice wine. Like, if you want to be, like, something rich... Like, I don't see rich people uh, having cheesecake, but now with the wine with the pinky sticking out, yeah, like, that's... Because rich people don't know how to, you know... They don't know how to live. They don't know how to live. I, I don't They're see... like, oh, we're rich, we have to drink wine. No. I don't see Elon Musk like, oh, fuck, this cheesecake is vintage. Vintage no. cheesecake. <laughs> I don't think you want vintage cheesecake, but anyways. 30 but... years age cheesecake. <laughs> in a barrel, in a barrel. In a barrel. Uh, I normally don't say this, and you know how I feel towards instrumental bands or tracks. Is... I kind of wanted this song to be just instrumental. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm not hating on the vocals at all. That's well, not what the I'm saying. Just added, the vocals weren't even the vocals. I feel like they were just another instrument. But I just kind of wanted the song, the whole song, just instrumental, it, to be honest It would have been a lot nicer if it was like... <laughs> and I'm like... Dude, stop barking. I need to listen to that bass. That bass is... <laughs> it's, 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 perf it's, it's at its peak right now. Stop, stop, stop. I, I'm, I'm just trying to trying to get my point across here. I'm not hating on the vocals at all. And I'm not a big fan of, of instrumental bands or instrumental tracks, period. I love... But this song, how dynamic it was musically with the two guitars, the drums, the bass, I kind of just wanted to hear it, just instrumental version of it. Like, that's it. Because I was completely, like, lost in it. It was just fucking incredible. It, there's not enough words to describe. I mean, the song starts off with, with 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 the guy kind of having his way with his guitar. Yeah, and the first guy was on Fiverr trying to get a solo. Did you see that? It, was that what it was? It was Fiverr. Yeah, you can go on Fiverr and pay people like a certain amount of money to do stupid shit, and that one was for a solo. And oh, it, instead of being, I don't five even know bucks, what Fiverr is. So you don't want to know what Fiverr is. <laughs> okay, all right. There's a lot of weird things on Fiverr. All right, all right, all right. It is what it is. But anyways. But once that whole thing got finished, like the song starts and he's just like just right away. Down. Yeah, that's the five thousand like, dollars he spent on Fiverr. Fuck, that was worth more than five thousand if Definitely. you ask me. But I was taken back immediately. Like immediately, I'm like, okay, you have my undivided attention. I don't care what happens from this point on. The fact that you start off the song, like doing what you're doing right now, I I'm I'm in. I mean, the, the the guitar at the end of the, the the of the song has a restraining order because it's like it's been fingered to death. So I was like, I'm totally in. And then once you add the bass, the second guitar, this is a left-handed uh, bass player too. Yeah, you don't see that every day. That's for sure. You don't see that every day. The moment you heard that, oh, like, oh, are you serious? Are you, are you doing this to me right now? Like, you, first of all, you have you have a guitar player on steroids starting off the song. It, it, it was like I was listening to to Dragon Force, but on 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 faster rotations. Then you have a second guitar player who's as good as that guitar player there, and then you have the bass guy just coming in. I was like, what the fuck? What the? I honestly, at one point in time before the vocals came in, I thought it was going to be instrumental all the way through, and I was totally fine with it. Totally fine. Well, I I like instrumental more than you. Oh, hundred so. percent. I'm not a huge fan. And I like technical death metal, so this goes into my both my wheelhouses. All right. So. What else do you want to say about this? I, I feel like there's not much to say. You just listen to it and you're blown away. And once again, I want to make sure people get it. I'm not saying that the vocals are not good or I'm not saying I don't like the vocals, but 
the soundscape of this song, the the playing, it, been, it was just so outstanding, was so over it the didn't top. Even need the vocals. It, it did like I was just totally fine just listening to this whole thing instrumental, and then the back and forth, the two guitars back and forth, then the bass comes in. Like, was, what the fuck is going on here? That's the only reason why I started playing bass. It's so one day I can buy a fretless bass, and then the sound is so unique. That's why I want to be able to play it one day, just so I like. Not even play, like, I don't want to be, like, this good. Maybe, like, play enough that that I can make some nice, you know, uh, grooviness here and there. And I can put it into a song. I don't know, something like that. I just want to be able to play such a godly You just want to be able to dab. I just want to be able to you know, dab my toes in this instrument, man. But the guitar playing was outstanding, too. Uh, it was so good. So technical, so good. But whenever we listen so to... So melodic. Whenever we listen to technical death metal, this is how it goes. You're always like, oh... The guitar was amazing, but I'm always fixated on the bass. And that's just because the guitar, I can hear amazing guitar from so many technical death metal bands. Not only te technical death metal bands, but from like, you know, different type of, you know, speed power metal bands, stuff like that. I can hear amazing guitar playing. And these guys are amazing musicians. I don't know how the fuck they do it, because... I definitely the, the hands were faster than what my I, eyesight I can definitely, caught up with it. If if I'm if I'm like choosing to be in a band and I'm a guitar player, this is the last type of band I, I want to be in. I'm like, listen, I like playing the guitar and all, but I don't want to like be done with a set and my you're fingers the, are bleeding. You're on the first note. The guy's finishing the solo, and you're still like on the first note. Exactly. Like, I mean, so I don't know how the fuck they do it, but I I'm always fixated on the bass because the bass you're only gonna get. It pops so much. You're, yeah, and you're only going to get it from technical... Like, not many bands that are not technical death metal have fretless bass. Or, now, or have the bass even pop as much pop as... Pop as much. Even, even it had its own, like, little part where everything kind of died yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. Like, no one had... When everybody was like this. The day... The <laughs> day <laughs> Did you see that? I thought that was epic. Even I the thought, singer I, came in, everybody was like, I, I, oh, I thought that was day, epic. The day a band that's not technical death metal has uh, fretless bass in it as much as, like, like this band, Beyond Creation, have... Take my money. Like, a metal, imagine a metalcore band with fucking this type of bass. I mean, we how, see, how they could probably like. We, we, we see now metalcore bands introducing like saxophones and all of these other instruments. Choirs. I, yeah, I, I think. I don't uh, think it's out, the, out of the realm, uh, realm of possibilities. No, but I, I honestly think some bands, if they did, it would really elevate their sound and what they can do. And their spot among other. Oh, yeah, yeah, bands. yeah. I, I honestly think incorporating more. More technical aspects. I know so there's some metalcore bands incorporating now a lot of proggy elements into their sound and whatever. Uh, I, I really feel like that's a genre that the, the almost all the juice has been squeezed out of that orange. And if you want to progress within that genre, you have to, you have to start thinking. Other genres also. Yeah, you have to start looking outside the box and think of something. And I think looking at technical death metal perhaps will be that something. Because I think there's there's some cross pollination that would work really well. Because some people really well. some people may look at technical death metal and be like, I they like it, but I have they get bored mine. after a while. I, I have a friend of mine that's oh the, the two genres that he hates the most is doom and technical. He hates doom because he finds it boring, like you know like it's like ah oh, it's so fucking boring. Nothing is moving. Like it's just boring. Which I like. Fuck, you're missing the whole point, which is the atmosphere of of the music yeah. and how it makes you. Feel. And the second thing, the the second genre that he hates is technical death metal because he finds it boring, not for the same reasons, but he finds the it like the opposite reason. The of opposite why reason of why he finds the other one. They're the two extremes. One is boring because it doesn't move. The other one is boring because it moves, moves too, too much. much. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I always find my conversations that's, with him are hilarious. Is, some people may not like it because it's like, oh, you know, it's, so over the top. It's, it's so over the top that I don't like it. And then some people, the same people don't like Doom because like, oh, it's so, like, it, it's not moving. I, I think a lot but of I feel times... Like, well, that's a lot of people who just listen to Metalcore. A lot of people who just listen to Metalcore... Or just listen... Like, I think he's, a, he's more genre. of a thrash guy, so... Exactly. But if you start adding some elements from the genre into different places that they like, they may start to appreciate it more because it's not just... You know, just not a, a one-dimensional. Exactly, thing. it's also you know going into something they I, like. I, I think it comes down to you wanting the music to have a certain fluidity, a certain flow, and and neither one of those have that flow that you that you gravitate to. The, the a song like this, it's hard for anybody that has any sort of taste in music to listen to this and not like it. I mean, the 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 efficiency in which they perform their instruments. On this song is undeniable. If you have respect, it's for, undeniable. If you have respect for musicians and or are musicians, or, or, music as an art form. I mean, this you is, have to like. You, this. It's impossible. Maybe not the vocals because some people don't like those type of vocals. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, I'll give you that. But musically, 
How can you listen to this and be like, oh, this is boring? No. How music- the fuck is this boring? It's always bringing you to a different place. I mean, musically, this song is a masterpiece. I can get why people may not like the vocals, but if you give put this in front of, it's like, not even that heavy of a track. That if you're like, oh, well, I'm you, not into death metal. If you put this into like heavy. an art made, uh, like, um, not art made, but someone who's like graduated from like a music school and they're more uh, they verse, do, they're more verse in music, but they also do more jazz and stuff. Other not like metal. But you put this in front of them, they're going to be like, wow. And they'll break this down, and they'll be like, wow. I'm so That's why I like watching reaction. I don't watch reaction videos very often, but I like to watch the ones of like the vocal coaches or the guitar teachers watching metal because they don't see it as yelling into the mic. The, the vocals, they're like, oh my god, how did they do that? Like the Lorna Shore one, that's like, oh my god, how did he do that? No, and, I appreciate that too because you're, you're looking at it as an art form. You're not just looking at it as, as just something that you're consuming. I also like to see the people who don't really listen to the music get like so hyped over like something that i'm not even got when i listen to the song and then i'm listening i'm like oh so that's how you know vocally that's how they do it it's very uh it, it, it opens it, your eyes it opens your eyes to it yeah it gives you a different appreciation for it for, for me technical death metal a song like this I, I, i'm not i i have no music background whatsoever besides the fact that i listen to a lot of metal music. and music in general but when i listen to something like this it's impossible for me to not appreciate the, the work and the, the craftsmanship that went into creating something like this. You don't have to be a, a student of the game to appreciate the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't make I, I don't make uh, mattresses, but when I went to buy my new mattress, I could appreciate the one that felt really comfortable and really soft, and I bought it. So I, I think you have to be able to look at something like this and look at it not from the not from the eyesight of the fan that, oh, I only listen to power metal or I only listen to metalcore or whatever the genre might be, but look at this as an art form, as you would look at a painting, as you would look at, at, at a sculpture, as you would look at anything like that and just sit back and say, wow, you know, I mean, I listen to this every day, but I have to admit th- the way they played, it was just phenomenal, hands down, incredible playing from the first note all the way to the last. This was outstanding. Probably one of the best technical death metal songs that I heard this year, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. And, and you know what? I, I the the latest album from Arspire I thought was incredible, over the top. It didn't make my top twenty list of the year, but I thought it was a phenomenal album. But it, I feel like a band like Arspire is more about the speed, the technical side, but how you can incorporate the speed into the technicality of the sound. These guys, it's not about the speed. At least with this song, obviously we don't know all the repertoire, but. With this song was not about the speed, but rather about how how deep into the technical well can we go, and th- that to me is more appealing than trying to make a song technical and fast at the same time. I mean, th- there is uh, th- there is something to say about that, and I'm not taking anything away from that because that's difficult to do as well. But I'm more of a fan of going into these deeper wells because it, it starts to move from a technical side almost to a progressive side. And then you start to bring those two worlds together. And I feel like that's exactly where I want to be. So this was phenomenal. Yeah. All right. On that note, guys, thank you for the Patrono that asked us to check this out. Thank you for everybody who mentioned this band on the channel. Because if you guys didn't mention the band on the channel, we may not have picked up the Patrono. So there you go. Win-win situation for everybody. See you guys at the next video. See ya.